Happy Home Bruins Day, everyone. Uh, today is Wednesday. Wasn't going to get one out uh, today, but um, everyone in the Hop Experiment's getting their beers now. Uh, so I got that in the mail today, as you probably saw in the picture that I put in the beginning. Um, so everyone's getting them, and I was thinking, well, I kind of want to do my impressions of my beer uh, before anyone else does. I, I don't know why, but I... Um, just to kind of forewarn everyone um, on what to expect because, well, you'll see in the review. Uh, what I'm drinking right now is I am drinking my Moon Man clone. As you can see, it's not clear at all and it's not clearing up. It's been in the keg for a month and a half. I'm really not sure why. It's drinking okay. Uh, the one thing with it is there's a shitload of Sintra in it and... When I've used Citra, primarily Citra in the past, I get this weird, and, and maybe it's the cat piss aroma uh, or taste that people get. And I'm getting in this, and it just kind of gets worse and worse. Um, I don't think it's an infection. I think it's just the hops. And it, you know, I think really if I use Citra going forward, I really want to dial it down or make sure it's well balanced with other hops. Um, I remember, uh, I think it was Danny B.A. said that if your pH is wrong in the water, that could affect Citra. Um, but my take on it so far is I'm just not really not impressed with the flavor of Citra when it's the predominant hop. Um, I do like the aroma, but I think it would play better being mixed um, with other hops. And, and in this recipe, it really was, but there was there was a lot of it. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else I got going on? Uh, not a, not a whole lot brewing. I am set brewing. I think I'm done brewing for at least a month. I have, uh, you know, I have the five gallons of the um, the beer where I use the yeast from Ryan Lewis, and that's been in the primary now over a week. It's still bubbling, but it's just degassing. It's done fermenting. I took a little sample, um, but anyway, I have that in the fermenter, and that's gonna be another two cases. I still have. 12 bombers of the hop experiment beer. I have pretty much three-fourths of the keg of this moon man and I still have I don't know half the keg of the cream ale. Um, so oh, the dogs are gonna start barking now. So I, I'm I'm plenty good on beer um, and plus I have the nine hop experiment beers that I'm gonna be doing. With those I am going to probably do separate videos unless I'm doing a homebrew Wednesday then I'll do it in that, and maybe that'll give me material to do a homebrew Wednesday with. With that, I am only going to try to do one review at a time. I'm not going to do multiple at one time. I'm going to try that, and I'm going to do every review out of this glass. Uh, just, you know, that'll be kind of consistent that way. Uh, as far as the, the, I haven't really named it yet, but the Ryan Lewis Yeast Beer, uh, there's like no hop aroma, but the aroma is super, super fruity, like estery, uh, which probably is a good thing. Uh, I think it, it kind of ferments a little low. Right now it's sitting at about 68 degrees. It's going to clean itself up a lot. The difference that I've noticed so far with water chemistry in taste, I didn't get a lot of hops. I got more of the yeast character, but I'm going to be dry hopping it. The difference that I've noticed is it cleared super fast and it it was super fast fermenting that could be the yeast but i think that has more to do possibly with the water because i've used several different types of yeast um so once once i finally get that dry hopped and everything i'll give you a final uh verdict on what i think um the water chemistry did if if anything uh, so i'm gonna sit back finish this beer look up some information on el dorado and then i'll give you a review of that All right, so here's the first review for, and it's getting windy. I hope it's going to work, but uh, first beer review for the hop experiment. I'm doing my own. So I have a pour in the glass, and what I'm going to do with these, Brad doesn't necessarily want full beer reviews, but I might divert a little bit um, and pretend like I'm in the SJ Pour Challenge because I haven't been in it and I'm not going to be in it this year. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just review the beer and not get too 
wound up in the details, but I'm going to review the full beer. And I'm also, you know, I'm going to do the aroma, or the appearance, aroma, flavor. Um, and I'm also, in the start of my videos, I'm going to give you what, kind of some information on every hop that, I, that I'm using. So in this one is El Dorado, and I'm going to be looking at my computer here. It was uh, developed, or it, uh, yeah, it was developed by family-owned, multi-generational uh, CLS farms in Moxie Valley in the Washington State, uh, which is a cooler climate, uh, and they say that that has some interesting characteristics on the hops. Uh, and it was developed in 2008, released in 2010, so it's it's still a fairly new hop. Uh, it's characteristics. Uh, it's bold, fruity aroma. There goes the wind again. Uh, despite its strong aroma, it lists its notes of citrus, apricots, even Jolly Ranch or candy. Eldorado has remarkably strong alpha acid content, making it a dual purpose hop for bittering. Uh, the vital statistics, it's 14 to 16 percent alpha acids. I think mine was like 15.4 if I remember right. Um, styles are good, it's good, it says good for blonde ales and IPAs. Flavors are stone fruit, tropical fruits, watermelon, grass. Uh, good hop substitute for it is Simcoe. Uh, and some beers that you can try um, that have it are Bronx Brewery Black Pale Ale, Ninkasi Brewing India Red Ale, and Winwood Brewing Company Eldorado, Eldorado Pale Ale. So, Let's get into this. This is my first one. This is mine. Uh, so appearance, it's pretty damn clear. Uh, it was it was cloudy for a long time. This has been sitting in the refrigerator for a while. I don't know how clear the others are going to be uh, because they just got theirs. I don't. It depends on when they review mine. Uh, but a good, you know, kind of ruby red amber color. Um, beautiful. Um, you know, this is. You can see the tree is pretty damn clear for, for my beer, um, the way I brew. Um, it's going to be leaving uh, some good lacing there. Uh, carbonation looks pretty good. It's dying down, but I have had this out poured for about five minutes now. So uh, let's get aroma. When I do these aromas, I'll try if I have um, kind of statistics to compare what they say. And the aroma, I do get some of the stone fruit, uh, some of the fruitiness. And I, when they say Jolly Rancher, I think of Cherry Jolly, Jolly Rancher. Um, but really what I smell a lot in this beer is the malt. And when it warms, the alcohol. This is an 8% beer. Um, that's what I'll also try to do if I have the information is give you the specs on their beer. Um, but the aroma really, yeah, it's, you know, right up front is the malt, which was not supposed to happen. Uh, the, uh, and I do get some, some fruity notes, but it's not like they're telling me intense tropical notes. I'm not getting that. Um, if anything, a slight cherry stone fruit type aroma. Um, so the aroma to me is not what I've gotten from other hops, um, but at the end maybe I'll get into maybe why and maybe it's not the hop. Uh, so let's get a taste. And in the flavor, I'm getting a huge bitterness, um, kind of a well-rounded bitterness, but that bitterness that just coats the tongue. Uh, this is a high IBU beer. I think mine was over 100, uh, so that's to be expected. I'm also getting in mine a strong alcohol note. Now it's not hot in my in my opinion. It's not hot, but it's it's there. It's warming as it goes down, um, and I'm just I'm not getting a super hot flavor. If anything, it plays into that alcohol kind of fruity flavor, but I, I, you know, since this beer I brewed it, I just, it didn't have the hop characteristics that I thought it should. Uh, but as for a flavor, 
of the hop, I'm really not getting anything pronounced that I can get. Um, I mean, it's it's there. Uh, I mean, there's some, obviously it's not just malt and alcohol. But I think, you know, the the problem, one problem is, is I got so much alcohol in this beer. Um, you know, it's upwards of 8%, which is not where it was supposed to be. Um, and, you know, the the bitterness, I just, you know, I don't think it's given this hop everything it's supposed to, to give. Um, really, all the flavor I can get from that hop is maybe a slight stone fruit flavor. But I'm really, I'm not picking up anything. I'm excited to see what everyone says about it. Um, what they think I'm assuming everyone's gonna say that there's alcohol pres alcohol presence for sure uh, High bitterness. I, I wouldn't say astringent at this point. It's not that puckering dryness on my tongue um, uh, But it's it's very bitter and I just don't think anyone's gonna detect a, a real high hop aroma or flavor Now the bitterness is 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 definitely good and I just realized I haven't been looking at the the lens uh, but so, and again, I mean, you look at this, it, it looks very pretty. I mean, there's lacing, uh, it's malty, uh, it's, a, it's a good sipper, it's clean. I don't get any off flavors, but, uh, so, I mean, really in some, this hop to me, from this experiment, uh, I wouldn't use it as a flavoring hop. What I might do with it is add it maybe to something like Citra or something, you know, you know, I like Simcoe to really balance it out but to me I'm not getting the real strong crazy hop flavor like everyone or like the internet says now other people have said that it plays well with others um, that it's not a it's not its own hop uh, and I and I would agree with that because I'm just I'm really not not super impressed now there could be factors I used a hop spider maybe that played into it uh, the only other thing is I bought the hops from uh, more beer. I didn't buy them straight from the source. So maybe they, you know, like Yakima Valley's, maybe those would have been a little bit more fresh. It's not the source, but maybe they would be more fresh. Uh, maybe they were a little old. You know, that, that could all play into it. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but I did have a single hopped El Dorado beer by Oso Brewing in Wisconsin. And I didn't detect much there from the hops either. It was all malt. Uh, so, final verdict on it. I would not use this hop as a single hop. I'm not saying anyone should try it. It could be my water chemistry. It could be a multitude of things. Uh, just in this beer, it didn't really play out. But, not that I'm not going to finish this beer because I do like the flavor. I don't know if anyone else will. Um, but, I do like it. And again... I'm impressed with the clearness. No, you can't see me through it. It's not that light out. I am. I I do like this beer. I would I would be not ashamed to show it off. Uh, I think I'm done rambling on about it. Um, so going forward on the beers, I'm not going to give. You know, obviously be shorter because I'm not giving my take on the brewing process and everything. I'm going to do a strict um, review of the beer and the hop. Uh, and I can tell you, they're all in my fridge. They're looking pretty good. Can't wait to crack into them. Cheers guys, this will be the end of my video, go Paco.